What's up guys, my name is Kobelman. In this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade IBM or Lenovo Think Center M series and this is M91 small form factor. Alright guys, so in order to open this uh, case up, it's going to be a little bit tricky. Here's the front of it and here's the back of it. And back here there's a little latch or if you, a locking mechanism if you will. So all you got to do is just push it. It's, it's on a spring so make sure you hold it and then lift the front up like this. So when you just move it like this, here you have your case open up and now you can have access to it. So uh, I think this one has a i5 um, 25, 2400 um, processor. So this is a little bit of older computer, but this is a good opportunity to show how to upgrade one of these computers because it's still a pretty decent processor and there's no reason for you not to be able to upgrade, especially if you're on a budget, right? So this is the small form factor and that's the reason I'm kind of going through it because these are um, some of these things to move them out of the way you kind of have to kind of play with just so you can have decent access to okay and at the same time I'm just going to show you how to replace you know regular things in here so you don't have to really think about it too much right because you know sometimes these latches can be very tricky okay so here first thing in order to uh, remove um, the hard drive you just have to push this latch here and then just lift up like this you may have to use two hands and this is how you would, and as you can see how it's hooked here, right? You can see how it's hooked, and then you would just lift it up and unhook it like that. And then from here, this will just, you know, slide out. And it's very self you can tell from here, you could just unplug it and swap. You can just unplug it, then you can uh, change your hard drive to whatever whatever you like, right? So this is a pretty standard. Uh, they just This just pops out real quick. But yeah, so this uh, hard drive just kind of pops out. You can just disconnect these two. These are just regular connectors. If you want to upgrade your hard drive, you can just disconnect this and just pop this out and replace it whatever you want. So let me just put this aside here. You can tell it looks a little bit unusual because it's a small form factor. That's the heat sink and that's just the enclosure so you can uh, blow, you know, uh, help it uh, circulate the air, blow it out. And um, if you want to change your hard drive, which is right here, I'm sorry, your CD-ROM, it's similar to that. You would just press this latch here. See this little latch here? Okay, I'm just double checking the camera to make sure you can see it. Oh, well, I guess you cannot. Let me just adjust it a little bit here too. Um, move it a little bit over here. Okay. So here's the latch. So in order to move this out of the way, you would just press the latch, press it in, and then you just lift it like that, right? So you can just move this out of the way. And that way you can, then from here, you can just pop this out. Like if this thing comes out, let me just make sure you can see it. You just unplug it and just pull this out, okay? So that's not hard. Uh, here's the, the RAM. Here you can add, looks like it's a dual channel, the dual channel RAM, you can see how it's colored. Um, this one is, has blue slots, this one, and the one next to it has green slots, so it's most likely a dual channel. So in order to change the power supply, there's a button here. First of all, there are a couple of screws here, uh, back here as usual, and let me just move this a little bit here, so you can see, okay. Okay, so back here, just uh, as, as, as usual, there are, um, I think, four screws in the back here, so you would unscrew that. And there's a button here. You just press it down. See that? That goes, that presses down. And then you would just pull on it. And that's how you replace this power supply, okay? And here, um, I recommend a, I highly recommend an upgrade. This is a PCI Express slot here. Now, let me just move it over so you guys can see it. Okay. So PCI Express slot here, right? You can upgrade it to uh, a better video card, right? So you can have, so you can make, you know, basically you can turn this into a, um, you know, kind of a mid-range PC, gaming PC, so if you want to do that, I'm just going to push this down since we don't have to worry about that now. But right here, you can pull a small form factor, or I should say, um, a small form factor video card, right? So it just goes in here. A regular video card will not fit, okay? So it has to be, for example, like NVIDIA um, 250 GTS, and I think I have one of those, and I'll go ahead and I'll insert a real quick uh, clip about it so you guys see what I'm talking about. Okay guys, so this is what I'm talking about here. Here's a small form factor video card that would, you know, slot in into your small form factor PC, right? So, you know, this is, um, um, I don't want to say, this is, you want, this is something you might want to be looking for when it comes to, especially if you're trying to, like, game or whatever like that. And I'm not saying this is, like, the best small form factor video card or anything like that, but this is just an example, okay? And... Um, like like I said earlier, 
Um, I may have mentioned earlier that uh, it requires, some of them do require extra power connectors, so be kind of careful. Um, if, you're, uh, um, if, if you're building something that requires power, you may just kind of want to double check to make sure you have you know, extra power. But like I said, it, it may not require a lot of these small form video small form video cards don't require any extra power you would just slide it in and that would be that okay and as opposed to just as in a comparison and what I'm show you what I'm talking about this is a full size um, card right and so you can tell the huge difference right so this will not fit while the small one will fit okay because where the issue is the is the space you see how this one is quite a bit longer and thicker you know the height won't necessarily clear either so this is what you want you know I mean there are occasionally sometimes you can fit a bigger one but chances are you'll have to go with something like this and this will actually draw way less power for example this one will draw 300 watts and this one may draw like 150 or so you know and like in your power supply will just not be able to handle it and the smaller PCs like like this one right okay so I'm just gonna go back to the video real quick and it just kind of goes in here right okay so you would just put that in um, in order to this flop all uh, moves and you pull this out let me see if you can see that okay now let me adjust a little bit more here camera work camera work camera work okay and uh, okay so um, this flop here comes up and then you pull this out right so you can make space for your video card and then you would just slot it in and like I said it has to be a shorter shorter video card right so you can fit in right so it's a small form factor video card and then from there you would just use these um, um, what you call it they should be extra connectors here well actually for a lot of small form factor um, cars they don't use a lot of power so you may need it may you may not even need extra power connector but if you do it's just a regular most likely it'll be just the regular one of these uh, um, serial, um, um, which we'll call it, not serial, but regular power connectors like so right here, right? Or e e there are even adapters out there we can use to use a regular, um, on the standard type of the uh, four prong uh, power connector, which is five volts, okay? So, it, but you may not need that, okay? So you just slide that in, plug it in, and then you connect your um, monitor to the back as usual. Okay. So there you go guys, uh, that's how you upgrade one of these small form factor PCs. The great thing about them is that they're small and you know they'll fit a lot of places. So if you're looking to have a you know, a, a medium uh, medium type of performance uh, gaming computer, you can certainly do that. You know? and that's the point of this video, so you can upgrade your older computer. Right? This computer is about, I'd say five years old, maybe. You know? so, and they're still decent, there's no reason not to actually upgrade. Well, you still can, you know, unless you're looking for high-end performance, then you may have to spend a little bit more, okay? Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll make another video uh, similar to this, but for HP Computer Small Form Factors. If you want to check that out, uh, um, go ahead and visit my channel because that will be posted after this one, okay? Thanks a lot. Please leave a like, comment, uh, subscribe if you'd like, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.